When you open this jar, it literally smells like a bag of onions. <clears throat> Fucking little thing. God damn it. So is today the first football day? It's first football Sunday, yeah. First football Sunday. It's first football so I've Sunday. I've never been season. big on football, but <clears throat> like, it's not hey, that I don't like it, but I've yeah. just never like. There's some people who are like, yeah, football. It's no, like, yeah, I, that's that's me. Yeah, fuck <laughs> I, yeah. I, I love sports, bro. But they start. They technically the first game was on Thursday, and people even betting wise usually because there's there's a Monday night game. Obviously, you know that Thursday and Monday night games people are like don't really count. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Sunday, every te every single team plays, so it's fucking it pops You've off. You've always heard of Sunday night football, bro. Forever. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's it's a Everyone's hell of a day. Today. Yeah. So this is really the season opener today. Go Steelers. Fuck <laughs> that. Ladies, <laughs> clothes. Oh, you know what? They may have came back, bro. They were getting their asses handed to them. See, I'm not. Uh, I'm but not they were, a but bandwagon they because I know that is a bandwagon team. The reason I like the Steelers <clears throat> is not because I have family or I'm from there. It's because as a kid, I had very close family friends that were from Pittsburgh, and they were big fans of the Penguins as well. Every time I'd come to their house, just crazy <clears throat> football parties, Steelers, so that's all I really knew how to... knew what... I mean, that's all the parties I was going for, so... Those fucking guys won, bro. <clears throat> they were down 10 nothing, I think, at half. To the Bills? Yeah! The bills are the bills are pretty good. They, everyone was like hyping them up, really coming into this season, and they were up ten now at half, bro. Steelers really came back twenty three six. Let's go! Wow, it's a it's a fucking tough sports day. Not tough like tough in the sense like even everyone I was at the bar like in the casino with right now, just talking about how <coughs> fucked their bets were by like one team just because shit like that happened. How the fuck the Steelers end up beating the Bills, Who's bro? doing really or, good right now, bias <clears throat> aside? Like, what teams are fucking... Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, some of the best teams are small. Well, Kansas City, they're fucking good as shit. Yeah. Um, Chiefs. The chi Yeah, the Chiefs. And obviously the Bucks are supposed to be really hot again. They won the fucking Super Bowl. And, uh... <coughs> Honestly, I hate bro, the Patriots, but they're yeah, usually always yeah. They they fell off since Brady left for sure. They haven't found they have a new quarterback this season. That's the thing. This season is basically new teams. It's all the teams are basically brand new. There's players that are switched around. Just everything got okay. changed. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be an interesting and key players too, not like a fucking lineman, like quarterbacks or you know like yeah. a receiver, like key fucking players. People were hurt last year that are back this year, like. All kinds of shit. So, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Today's really the day that <clears throat> we'll start to show something. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're so. sitting in a parking lot of this bar slash restaurant. I'm definitely gonna get like a burger and wings or some shit like that in there. I'm gonna, put, yeah, We're wings getting, getting sound high, good. Getting high as shit. I didn't pull out my camera when he took his hit. I wasn't thinking, but he took a fatty out of this. Yeah, I'm glad because I died. First rip of the day. <laughs> For him, this yeah. was like third rip of the day for me. I think I took a couple before I came out here, but yeah, perfect. I didn't have glass, or else I would have taken a couple. Oh no worries. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <clears throat> show that boards. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these. I've never smoked one of these. I some of you probably mind blown. Like what you some hackles. One of these? Yeah. Let me see. For reference, these are thick. Yeah. It's That's crazy, and they look perfectly rolled. <laughs> Big boys, hand rolled. <clears throat> so there's a worm of hash in there. Yeah, a fat worm of hash in there. There's a half. I think these are two and a half gram flour to half gram of rosin. So Those easily yeah. sell for like 100, 150. Bro, it's so crazy. You know the, fu the, the I don't want to name drop in here, but yeah. And the dispensary is like the main, like the main brand out right now, bro. That shit's like two hundred dollars a joint for the like big one, and then the smaller one is like one fifty or some shit like that. Yeah, <clears throat> crazy. I've smoked hash like I was just telling you earlier. Yeah. Not, not that much, but you know a little bit. Not nearly as much as a lot of these heady boys out here. But 
Yeah. I was conserving it, taking dabs. Like I, I don't have that much hash to like even think to just boom put in a joint. Like you guys <laughs> yeah. are wild with it. It's it's, a, it's definitely a new way of smoking. Like, <clears throat> excuse me, that rip got me fucked up. Yeah, that one did. <laughs> uh, fatty, I loaded you. Up. Um, sorry. Once you smoke one, bro, it's like, it really is a whole new way of smoking it. Fucking, it smokes like a normal joint, honestly. I mean, obviously, but it fucking punches you in the face every single hit because it's like you're taking a fat ass dab. You know what We've I mean? We've all done twax joints, yeah, but this course. is different. It's different. It's different in the whole. It, fuck. I don't. It's hard to explain, yeah. bro. It's a very euphoric smoke, though. Like for real. I I haven't gotten. I'm sure. You know, obviously we get faded when we fucking smoke and shit. You know, we get high as fuck. Yeah. Bro, when I first started smoking those, it was really... It brought back the, like, first time smoking oh, feeling. Oh, God. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. It was like, yeah, fuck. Like, this is really fucking me up, you know? Like, yeah. you start the fucking joint and you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I got this whole thing left. It's, it's a different smoke, for sure. Damn, what flavor... Uh, that's in there. It's uh, fuck. I forget the. Uh, it's a self-made strain by the homie Candy Paint Flowers. It's called Basanti, Bastanti, or some shit <laughs> like that. Okay. He, like he, he crosses his own. Uh, yeah, it's a fucking. I don't even know how to fucking say it myself. Sounds you know like I mean? something that would look purple. Yeah, bro. The, the, yeah, I don't the know. Is that it, me? Just yeah, uh, bro. He fucking uh, like. <laughs> Sounds like some he, purple shit. Yeah, he grows and washes his shit, bro. It's fire super super dank and the flower that's in there is Cushman's cross with dosi dope that's a good one it's dank it's I've had both stupid. of those strains they're yeah. both fire as fuck i used to get dosi dose quite a bit back in the day i used to get Cushman's quite a bit back in the day too but yeah. never mixed it's super sticky bro that like they fucking made a it's it's hard to even break up and put in the grinder because your hands just get like oh, resin all over yeah, yeah it's sticky I bro love that. yeah really good smoke yeah, it's been a while. I need to go out to fucking L.A. and, like, just try some of these different crazy fucking flower strains, you know, that I've never tried because I'm a flower head, and I really appreciate stuff like that, like, really properly grown shit, and some of you guys even might, may recognize. This is my boy yeah. Ralph. He's been on the channel, of, what was it, like, three years ago? Oh, bro, yeah. It was a while ago. It was a minute. Um, yeah. I don't even remember what the name was the event I met you at. It was Blazers Cup. It was I, those are all a blur to me. And yeah, mixed bro. into I, there's so many different. It was just one of the stock, cups. Yeah, one of the fucking weed. It was events. an event. Yeah, mm, one of the weed events. Don't yeah. remember the name. Fuck yeah. It's not a blur as in I don't remember. Like, those events were so fun, but I can't, like, be like, oh, this... Kush stop, chalice, I, fucking whatever. Yeah, like, I can't, like, take a certain situation and be like, oh, that happened at that cup. Yeah. They're all weed events to me. Yeah, facts. I agree. That was a... <sighs> damn. I miss those times. Though. I know, and then <laughs> the laws is what kind of changed that, right? Yeah, yeah, because, well, that's even why... Well, I don't know about here in uh, Nevada how shit is, but, like, you know how... Uh, clinics as small as like if you go in for your first time they'll throw you like a joint or something like oh here's yeah. a fucking house joint or yeah. whatever yeah like the laws did so much that they like clinics can't even do that in california like they can't even give you weed like anything <clears throat> edible smokable nothing <clears throat> when i went to colorado for my birthday last you have year to purchase i went it. to a dispensary and then, like i got something free for my birthday. yeah yeah like in cal you can't get like Damn. It's weird. Wow. They can do like, oh, if you purchase something, you get a goodie bag. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It's weird. So when what? I think it's the event where they do with the baseball field Kush stock they've been doing for the past ones, dude. Uh -huh. The last time I went there, dude, it was not the same. I all bet. the booths, uh, all the booths that were there. The only one that I recognized there was like Space Monkey Meds. They always had fire. Yeah. Um. But they all had to have like certificates on there. It wasn't the same. You know how like anyone could just go buy a booth. Right, right. That's all you had to do was just literally. Just and buy a booth. yeah, there'd be some booth, but it was up to the customer. Like yeah, you could go get some like shit ass weed, but you could also go get some like really good stuff. And it was all about networking, meeting people. And that's why it was cool because exactly. like even like you know just mom and pops or like just someone that. <clears throat> just grew and just had bud and had nothing to do with it really or like no market obviously it's like a swap meet it was like a swap meet 
obviously they want to go buy a fucking spot and try to sell whatever they can, yeah, you that's, know? Best that's way more, to put it, it's a marijuana swamp. Yeah, and <laughs> that get, it literally gave so many people opportunities are just I met a like lot of dope said, people not only like it. growers but like friends and shit you know it was just good use that one lighter <laughs> oh, bro, I'm trying to figure out what I did with it I may need that one then I have multiple lighters if not uh, no it's all good that bitch is in here somewhere I coughed my brains out and so I don't know <clears throat> I would try to move this thing but it's fucking <laughs> I know it's fucking these lighters just scare the fuck out of me oh they do why now I just want my hairs down. <laughs> oh, I feel you. That shit. <clears throat> sometimes you gotta, yeah, there you go. Torch lighters are great, but sometimes they're fucking annoying when the clickers. They like hold it up right. Sheesh. That. Yeah. I, I normally wouldn't, but this is some fire shit. Bro, I, I didn't fucking. I don't snap my shit all the way through. <coughs> I usually don't. So the Australians like, oh, are shitting their pants right now because you said that. Really? Yeah, that, that's a thing. Really? Like, if you. Okay, <clears throat> tell me I'm wrong, Australians. Whenever I'm you learning see, something whenever, right now. Whenever you see someone from America, specifically America, like not sink their bowl, that's what they say. Sink, sink or, or sink your cone, that's what they say. <coughs> sink your cone? Which means snap it, pretty much. If you don't do that, they'll give you shit for it. And they'll be like, here in Australia, all of us sink our cones. And I'm like, okay. Really? But they don't. I don't think a lot of these people realize that this slide that I'm holding right here can easily put fit a gram, a gram and a half in there. <coughs> And I don't know about you Easily. Australians, but how big are your slides? If your slide can <laughs> hold a point two, then yeah, I'm gonna snap it every time. But when you have something like this, and I'm not even the type that really cares about, oh, I can take big rips, I'm over that. No. You know, we're grown men. Facts. You know, but it's funny. It's funny when people, I had to mention that. Yeah, that shit. And with those slides too. I have a four hole and that shit is tough to fucking snap sometimes, you know? That's a multiple hole bowl as well. That shit is like low key tough sometimes. I love, that's all I smoke oh. now. Yeah, dude, that th I don't know when that thing broke because it wasn't like that. I, I, I forgot my hand was holding it up low key and I moved it and I thought something was falling. <laughs> that's why I jumped up. I was like, oh shit. But yeah, like every slide I have is like, like a glass screen pretty much like yeah four holes. right four hole slides i love that shit yeah i really don't snap that shit at all bro i'll have to pull the fuck <laughs> out of my fucking because my pieces are pretty big so i don't fucking be you have a few nice pieces yeah i have a few of them but i don't yeah i, I snap the illadelph all the time obviously it's just a fucking <laughs> it's a single hole beaker <laughs> snap that bitch all day but the other ones I can't. My Collins, I can't do it. Are <coughs> you ready to go in? Oh, it's football time. Yeah. It's yep. Thank you. What's up, bro? How you doing? Good, huh? What's you? What up? What's up, man? How's it going? That's a safe one. The homie had it on the payment plan. And a whole bunch of other homies came in on their payment plan. So that's how you hit it. You gotta hit it. <laughs> <laughs> that was 450. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They'll come by, and there's like fucking kid. I don't give a shit. I'll still do it. I'm like, 
You guys are smoking parking behind a fucking smoke shop. Yeah. I don't want to smoke around kids. I'm not saying that, but I'm just like, all I'm doing is like, <laughs> real quick. That's it. Fuck off. Oh, that piece is so nice. I really want one of those. And I haven't even hit it yet. No splash. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to get water in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I think it's fucking amazing. Unless you fill it. Too. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Something fucking crazy. <laughs> this thing is fun. You'll like it. When you open this jar, it literally smells like a bag of onions. And I know that's pretty common when you have these GMO strains, but I really mean it. This stuff is fucking gas. You open it, and it, it smells offensive. It, it offends your nose. What the function test? I'm going to kick your ass. First time hitting this thing. It's a good way to put it. It takes a lot for it to bite back. Mm -hmm. That was massive, but I don't feel like I'm going to die. Like, I'm going to cough, but. It's a more of a comfortable cough. Hi. There are people there. <laughs> That was a perfect time. Taking a dab because I always forget to end the video, so we're gonna close it off with a nice glover of some straw guava live resin. I'm out of flour right now, it's crazy, huh? Let's get a dab. A little hot. Should I go in hot? Fuck it. Yeah, that was hot. Just chaz my banger. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. <coughs> if you guys enjoyed it, maybe go check out some of the other ones. OG out. Peace.